I'm gonna rip your mother ball off. Tonight, these unlikely allies will confront terror most foul in the blood so tall of Papa's Palace of Pain. Be a courteous guest. Hey there, everyone. This is Ray Carcillo, and one of my fondest memories growing up was whenever my dad and I would head down to the local arcade, the Electric Circuit, and we would just play games all day. My mother, of course, still blames him for the life path I've chosen for myself because of it, but anyway, we, we played fighters like Tekken or Street Fighter 2, and I'd play games that my dad wasn't as interested in, like Turtles in Time or the X-Men arcade game. But the games I think we both enjoyed the most were the ones where we each held a plastic gun in our hands, stood side by side, and blew away whatever creatures came our way. There was a Jurassic Park rail shooter and a Terminator rail shooter, but the one we always kept coming back to was the House of the Dead series. The cheap thrills from the, at the time, stellar graphics, and the blood and brains that would splash across the screen would have us feeding those light gun masterpieces constant quarters all day. With those fond memories flooding back to me, I happily present to you House of the Dead Overkill for the Nintendo Wii, developed by Headstrong Games and published by Sega. Overkill is the first in the House of the Dead series to be exclusive for a home console and also serves as a prequel to the accepted House of the Dead chronology. In the campaign, the year is 1991, and you play as Agent G, an inexperienced but highly trained special agent who's on his first assignment for the AMS in Louisiana, where he must team up with local detective Isaac Washington, a foul-mouthed, heavy-drinking career cop out for revenge, as you both must investigate a rash of strange appearances around the bayou. House of the Dead Overkill is a blatantly over-the-top tribute to exploitation films that is more humorous than it is frightening. With an intentional film grain placed over the entire game, stereotypical character types, cheesy 70s music, and exaggerated voice acting, Overkill definitely takes a left turn from the norm of the series as the whole game is really just making fun of itself while also providing you an awesome gaming experience. As with all rail shooters, your movement is done for you by the game itself, as you clear away enemies and rely on your targeting skills to advance through the six episodes that the game is broken down into. From an overrun hospital that reminds you of early issues of the Walking Dead comic, to zombie clowns at the circus, the ridiculous areas you have to fight through only adds to the great humor that to me is the game's biggest selling point. Once you beat the game, you can also unlock a director's cut version that sees the zombies able to take more damage and gives the player's limited continues to extend what is overall a very straightforward light gun experience. The graphics are about what you expect from the Wii, with the film grain helping to cover up some of its limitations, and the frantic zombie killing action makes sure that the graphics are the last thing you're thinking about. Where this game really shines though is the audio. From the cheesy 70s music selling the exploitation theme, and your standard zombie moans and groans, to the tremendous over-the-top voice acting from all those involved. Hey you! Rocket Tub! Jump on! Really though, Everyone did a great job selling the theme of this game, and you just want to keep playing it to listen to the dialogue over and over again. Mind you, this game has an M rating for a very good reason, and should be kept away from little children. Even though House of the Dead Overkill is rather short, as you should be able to beat both the campaign and director's cut in one sitting, I still recommend that you buy this game if you can find it, probably for cheap now, because it is just too funny and too much fun not to own. Not to mention it gets even better when you can share the experience with a friend by having them pick up a second controller and have them take over as Isaac Washington, or you grab a second controller yourself and dual wield if you're looking for an extra challenge. Definitely though, I give House of the Dead Overkill a very high recommendation. Disgust me, Nigel!